Hi, I'm Larry Buxton, and this is Leading with Spirit, a weekly video series where we explore issues of character and leadership. Uh, and today I'm delighted to be with my friend Carol Stizza. Carol Stizza is an executive leadership coach at Relevant Insight, has been an HR professional. She's a speaker and author and all around delightful person. Carol, welcome today. It's great to see you again. Yeah, thanks for being here. I wanted to ask you, um, since we talk about issues of character, where do character issues come into play in your world of working with leaders? Character issues come into play when they forget to ask themselves about their own character issues or character traits they'd like people to brag about. And one of the first that I remind people about is how they initially start to think about people. So noble intent is a, a great place to start. To presume from the beginning noble intent and not something else. Right. Yes, very true. You were also, Carol, a contributing author to two books prior to your own book that's just come out, uh, a contributing author to the book Coach Wisdom and Compassion at Work. Can you say a bit about where leaders can use wisdom and compassion in their leadership work? Some of the best leaders that I follow talk about uh, wisdom and compassion and giving themselves the grace of compassion first to recognize their humanness and to remind themselves that so are their employees and those they lead. Um, and just that, that grace and that moment of pause can really set the tone for how they lead the rest of the day. You do a, a nice comment um, in your website and your work about the experience of waiting in a waiting room. And patience is one quality that leaders sometimes find it difficult uh, to cultivate. Uh, oddly enough, it's the very first chapter in my book on leadership, 30 Days with King David. Uh, what can leaders learn by the experience of waiting in a waiting room? Hmm. Well, like you had offered another time when we talked that Waiting room is the one place you go in where people tell you what you're going to be doing, which is waiting. <laughs> and you somehow go, Ugh, I don't want to wait. Why am I waiting? Why am I waiting? Um, the waiting room is a place where you are required to have patience, but sometimes under duress because you want that impatience of just continuing on with your day. That, that's a paradox. So I love to use the waiting room as a, an analogy to say, if you could appreciate your time and give yourself the grace of the patience, the time to think, the time to be aware, understanding you will get impatient, how do you blend those two? It's a, it's a great paradox to have good conversations about how to help them be more patient and compassionate at the same time. Thank you. Um, maybe it builds on that or maybe it's different. If you would have a bit of prevailing wisdom to offer people who want to strengthen their leadership after listening to you today, what, what would that be? I think the first place to start, a great place to start is assuming noble intent. Everybody is trying to do their best and be successful. They showed up to work. Assume that they're there to be their best and that allows you to look at them with a new light. And that can work with your team, your family, your friendships, your neighbors, really everybody we come in contact with. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So a word about your uh, recent book, if you would. So the recent book is called The Ask Framework, and it was actually designed to help people understand how to go after and ask for the positive feedback they need when they needed it. The bonus is they learned immediately how to give good feedback by understanding that in the book. Great. And maybe people are regarding us with positive intent, and we don't always uh, assume that or believe that to be true. Um, Carol, if folks would like to be in touch with you, how could they do that? I have a website, relevant-insight.com, or look me up on LinkedIn. It's Carol with an E, C-A-R-O-L-E, last name Stizza, S-T-I-Z-Z-A, and I'll see you there. Perfect. That sounds great. I'm very appreciative to your being here. Uh, and thanks to you who have joined us today with Carol to be reminded of the importance of grace and patience and uh, positive intent and noble intent as we meet other people. Thanks for joining us. I'm Larry Buxton. This is Leading with Spirit. Have a great week. God bless you.